Hi and welcome to today's tutorial. Um, today we're going to talk about how to SAS log on to a database. Well, we have plethora of databases on the market. Well, um, to start off, you have Oracle, DB2, Teradata, Netza, and Sybase, and other relational databases. As part of this tutorial, I'm going to be showing with respect to Oracle because that is what I've installed on my server. So let, me, let us quickly jump on to the whole tutorial itself. As you can see on the screen, I have a percentage include and libname statements given here. What I'm, what I'm trying to do is, I'm trying to invoke this particular SAS, which is located in this particular folder. Okay, the reason I'm doing this is to make sure because uh, the very next statement is a libname statement where I've given information about my credentials like user, password, and path. It is industry standard to make sure that your user, password, and path are always referenced by a macro variable. That is because you don't want uh, other folks to see or understand what is a user and path because this is a security issue for an organization to make sure. So make sure you always, you know, never hard code your username and passwords, always follow a standard. So let me quickly run this query. Let me log in, I can see that, you know what, Oracle was successfully assigned. Great. Now, the very basic question here is, how does SAS know what database, how, do, how does SAS log onto your database, right? Well, the way SAS logs on your database is by a module called SAS Access. So depending on the databases you have in your organization, uh, that module will be there as part of your SAS license. Well, how do you know what license you have? Well, for that, all you have to do is run this particular command called proc set end and run. This is going to give you information about what are the SAS license you have and when is your SAS going to expire, all that goody things, right? So now that we have installed and we were able to connect to Oracle database, let's just quickly write uh, a simple query to you know create a table and also to insert a uh, couple of values into that particular table before I continue there's one more thing that I want to touch base it's called uh, well we know that SAS logs on to a database using a SAS access but how does what is the internal mechanism that it logs on right well for that you would have to know something called as TNS names .ora. folks from SQL background or from DBMS background know this and I step to all the hands TNS names .ori has information like server, it has information like service name, the database name that you normally give. That's how you know you are able to log on to a database from a Oracle standpoint. Well, in from SAS takes the help of TNS names to log on to the path that you're referencing for. This one that I'm showing right now, the path, right? This is ref this information is actually there in your TNS names .ora. Okay, service name. So you're you're giving the you're giving the username and password, and when you're logging on, it logs onto this database. And mind you, you also have to give information about schema details. Okay, you just you just have to mention the schema details here. I'm not mentioning because I'm not, I'm not set up that way, but make sure when you log on using a libname statement, you always give your schema information. So, so two things here, SAS access and TNS names, dot or boom. All right, let's very quickly log on to, or go to the next step, where is we are, let's create a table. Well, we're gonna write a proc SQL, create table, uh, let's since we're given the Oracle DB has Libnum reference, make sure you copy that paste and say, and I'm going to create a table called mortgage today. And mortgage information for loan obviously has a loan number. So I'm going to give that information here, loan number. The data type is a number. So I'm going to give that information. Then we let's say there is also more field called due date. It's again a number. But then since it's a date form, date, so uh, it's a bit tricky with, with dates, but I'm going to give a format of uh, MMDD YY10. This might, this might be futile, but I think you will know in my later videos how it works. I'm going to touch base a little bit on in this tutorial too. 
okay because um, to the gist is that the data the dates from a database and SAS standpoint you know it always comes down to date time so that is what you have to take away today okay, date time all right so next field that I'm gonna have is called invest the number it is a number uh, in nature uh, let's have a character field uh, I'm gonna call it a bankruptcy bankruptcy flag it is of character one byte Okay, um, I'm gonna have one more field called LTV or loan to volume ratio, pretty standard uh, field or a variable in mortgage business. I'm gonna quickly quench it off saying quit. Okay, so I'm gonna run quickly run this. Before I run this, I'm gonna make sure that you know uh, from log on to your database and show you whether or not this table exists. Well, the way you log on to your database from a Oracle standpoint is well, there are a lot of ways actually, but industry standard you can use Oracle SQL Data Per, SQL Plus, and Toad. I generally prefer using Oracle SQL Data Per because it's pretty enriched in a GUI standpoint. Where well, I'm going to write a select star from mortgage. It tells us, you know, you know what table of view does not exist. Makes sense. So I'm going to come back to the message session and create this table right now. Press F3. Well, it tells me there's an issue. Huh. Well, we didn't do this properly. All right, let's just put a comma there. Pressing F3 again. The log, it tells me that zero rows and five columns were created uh, with the Librem Oracle DB and the table is mortgage. I'm going to log back onto my Oracle database through using SQL Developer. Let me run this query. Control Enter. Boom. All right. There you see you have loan number, due date, investor number created, bankruptcy flag, and you also have LTV created. Okay. Now what we're going to do is we uh, let's insert a couple of values. You know. Insert into Oracle DB dot mortgage. Um, I'm going to be a little bit more manual here. Let's just put down the f the, the fields loan number. Again, I'm, I'm, I want to say that people are coming from a SQL world. I mean, they will be loving this because uh, you know. You, you can actually you, you if you know SQL you, you are in a great shape to learn SAS and then you can start understanding um, the data steps you know really nice manner so that, that is an advantage that you know, that people from um, SQL and ODBM uh, and uh, DBMS come from all right so let's just put uh, a couple of values for this for this particular uh, uh, fields let's just say my uh, low number is this I might do it I'm just gonna say all right it says zero one let's say it's January of uh, 2015 okay. okay it is one of the formats that you have right uh, in, in SAS so yeah just 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 bear with me I'm gonna show that to you in a little, 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 little more detail investor number I'm gonna say the investor number is this bankruptcy flag um, let's just say this the this this, this low number is I mean, this person or this customer is not a uh, it's not bankrupt I'm just gonna say it's, it's yen and loan to volume ratio I'm gonna give it as, as a 0.80 okay all right so let's quickly run this and see how what are the results I'm processing I go to my log it tells one row was inserted into the Oracle database I go back into my SQL developer I'm gonna run this now all right there you go the loan number due date investor number bankruptcy flag LTV when I'm gonna while I'm doing this you know there is one issue that's taking place I want you guys to take a note of this I'm gonna uh, insert a couple more uh, entries Okay, now that I've inserted one value, right, uh, one row, what I'm going to do is uh, let's. Me, I'm going to insert a couple more more rows. Okay, totally there are like what? 
one, two, three, four, five. There are five rows. Okay, so, so I'm gonna press F3 again. All right, it says five rows were inserted into Oracle database. I'm gonna log back into here, and totally you should be seeing six rows entered here. Awesome. So uh, this is working great, right? So. What I'm also going to do right now is I'm going to log on to SQL Plus and, and run the same query, okay? So here you go. S say select star from mortgage, right? Boom, there you go, the data was created. Now, all this is great doing awesome, right? But, but, but as I mentioned, this is a small issue here. Uh, well, if you've been working over SAS for some time, you can pretty much see the issue. But if you're a novice in this field, well, I'm going to I'm here to help you. All right. You see this? We wanted the date to be 01 Jan 2015. Right? When you go to Oracle, right? And you see this, it tells me that it's 01 Jan 1960. Wow, what happened there? Right? Well, um. Uh, this is this is what as I mentioned that this is a format issue. Well, I wouldn't really say it's a format issue. It is just the the date. Uh, you know, all the dates just in SAS always starts from this date. Okay, this is very pretty much uh, uh, the the date. Any date before this, you're gonna have minus numbers. Okay, the date zero one Jan sixty. You know, in the internally SAS stores is state zero and then one and two and three. Okay. So this is a little tricky, um, but I just want you to know that, you know, I'm gonna show you in my next tutorial uh, how you can take care of this. But, you know, you're free, please feel free to leave a comment or you know, um, about this as to how you want to tackle, or how you wanna make sure uh, you you end up with 01 Jan 2015 instead of uh, this particular 01 Jan 60. Um, well, just a hint, it's got to do with your date time. Okay, all right, I'm gonna wrap up this uh, tutorial for today. Um, please feel free to share and subscribe. Thank you very much.